Hello, welcome all. So in the previous video, we have seen how Node.js works with different cores of a processor. Now here in this video, we will see why Node.js is single threaded. We know that dividing tasks between multiple threads makes it faster. In real life also, if we divide a task between multiple people, instead of giving the whole task to one person, multiple people can get that task done faster, which is obvious, right? But if we relate this theory with Node.js, Node.js say completely opposite. As per the Node.js, one person can do that task even faster. Sounds crazy, right? Let's see how actually it works. Now, instead of people, we will consider threads trying to complete that task. Whenever we give any tasks to the computer, threads gets allocated to handle it. In a multi-threading technique, multiple threads gets allocated to complete that task. Whereas in a case of single-threaded, single thread try to complete that task. But there is some problems in multi-threading. In multi-threading, there is complexity problem. Multi-threaded processes are quite complicated. Coding for these can only be handled by experienced person. Second problem with multi-threading is concurrency. Concurrency means executing a task simultaneously. In order to execute the task simultaneously, each thread needs to communicate with each other, which is very costly process, which takes a little bit of more time as compared to single thread. Third problem with multi-threading is difficult to identify errors. Here we are not talking about normal errors. We are talking about the errors which occurs by the time of productions when your server is running and that problems are difficult to solve. Next problem is unpredictable results. Sometimes multi-threading gives you unpredictable results, especially when the communication between two different threads are not proper. In that case, multi-threading can give you unexpected output. And next problem is communication between threads. So multi-threading is not a magic. In multi-threading, every thread working on different tasks, which needs to communicate with other threads to, to get that task done. So communication is not an easy task in multi-threading. So that's why it is again a disadvantage, we can say. But again, multi-threading is suitable for certain type of tasks, like if you are trying to create some CPU intensive tasks, then multi-threading is absolutely good choice. So CPU intensive tasks includes tasks like video editing, gaming, graphics rendering, machine learning module training, etc. But there are some tasks which don't require more CPU attention. In that case, multi-threading does not a good choice. It doesn't perform well with input output intensive tasks. In that case, multi-threading takes more time. In a, in a single thread, we can avoid that communication and get that task done even faster comparing to multi-threading. So that's the reason why Node.js use single thread in Node.js. But that doesn't mean that in Node.js we cannot do multi-threading. We have choice. We can create multiple threads using child process and we can also create clusters we'll see that in coming videos see you in the next video thank you very much for watching